In this video, I'll show you how to share your screen during a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, for this, I'll be acting as someone named Megan Bowen, who has a presentation that she'd like to share. So right now, she's already in a meeting. And if we just look at PowerPoint real quick, these are the slides that she'd like to present. So uh, ordinarily, what you'd probably do is just present your slides, right? make it full screen so it looks nice and large for everybody. And then we go back to Teams. I'm just using Alt-Tab there to switch my windows. And I'm going to click on Share and I'll just choose my whole screen. Now we have lots of options here and I'm going to give you some, some caution on a couple of them just so you fully understand what happens when you choose one over the other. So for example, when I choose screen, it's going to show everything on my screen, right, except for the little Teams window there. And I can just go through my slides normally. I just click and everybody's with me on the same slides at the same time. All right, and that's perfectly normal. It's perfectly fine uh, for most cases. Now, what's not so great about choosing your screen is that it's truly everything that pops up on the screen. So if you were to be interrupted with some pop-up or if you switched windows like this, which is again using Alt-Tab, people can see everything that you see. So they could see, oh, they're working on a Word doc, they've got their calendar open, I got a calendar reminder there, all kinds of stuff, right? And it's usually you know, not a big deal depending on who your audience is, but imagine if you accidentally opened up your email on that screen, right? And maybe something sensitive was there. So we just want to be careful with the, the full screen share if you do have you know, sensitive things open. So what Megan could have done instead is choose share and go to window where you get to choose from everything you have open and just share that one thing. So this time um, I'm just going to click on window and then I'm going to find my presentation. So it's right here, PowerPoint slideshow, our engagement initiative. Now there's another one that says that and it's just PowerPoint, but that's the edit or the backstage view. I want to make sure I choose the one that's the slideshow. So I click on that. There we go. And people can see my slides. But if I were to leave or switch windows again, uh, they're not going to see my other stuff. Like right now when I'm alt tabbing, they're not going to see these. And if I switch and open up the browser here, they don't see this. They're still looking at the slides. So let me go back. Here we are back in the Teams meeting. And when you're done sharing through this method, whether it was screen or whether it was one window, you just click on the same share icon to stop sharing. And now it's just your camera and maybe everybody else's camera again. Now, if you're going to be sharing like a video with audio or music or something uh, where they need to hear your computer sound uh, as that plays back, make sure you turn that on first and then you can share, you know, your screen or whichever um, application perhaps uh, that's going to have that video in it. Now, I want to talk specifically about uh, PowerPoint here because again, we could, you know, just use window, go to slideshow and go through the whole presentation this way. That's perfectly fine. Um, however, here, let me get out of PowerPoint here. I'm going to close it. You do have another option. So I'm going to stop sharing, reshare. There we go. And down at the bottom, you know, sometimes you'll see stuff here. Sometimes you won't. Just depends on what you've been working on recently. Uh, but Megan's been working on that PowerPoint, and she wants to present it in a different way, a way that's maybe more interactive. So this PowerPoint live section is meant to be more user oriented, where people can actually navigate through your slides themselves. Let's take a look. So I'm going to use this browse OneDrive option. I'm going to find that same PowerPoint that I was just working on and click on share. Now with PowerPoint Live, your attendees get to go forwards and backwards through the presentation at their own pace. So you may be presenting, you know, slide five over here and then an attendee may have missed what you put on the previous slide. And so they can click this back button and look at that before rejoining you on slide five. So uh, going back to uh, slide one here, let's look at a few more things. Uh, something I really like about uh, this method of sharing is that it's also more accessible for more people. So your attendees can use this more actions um, uh, ellipsis right here, and they can actually translate your slides. So any text on your slides gets translated to their language of choice. So maybe I'll choose Spanish here. There we go. So now they can go through and view all of your slides translated to Spanish. Nice, right? Even though you're still presenting in English, right? It just changes it for them. Now, they can also use that ellipsis for a more accessible option like viewing your slides in high contrast. Any kind of uh, visual impairment, this would be really nice to have you know, the option to be able to have that high contrast. Again, just for their own viewing experience, not affecting yours. And then one more thing I'll just throw in here is that if you put links on your slide, this is a really great way to have people be, just be able to click directly on your uh, slides rather than copying and pasting the link and putting it in chat. 
So for example, I put a link on this slide and rather than saying, hey, visit my website or you know, follow me on LinkedIn or whatever the case would be, you know, fill out our survey perhaps, I can say, now just click directly on the slide where it says visit my website and then it'll open for them right there. So it's a really nice way to you know, cut down some of that manual work of copying that link and then opening up the chat panel, right, pasting it in there and telling people to go look there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, one of my favorite features of PowerPoint Live actually. All right, so now that we're done presenting, uh, with PowerPoint Live, it is a little bit different. You know, normally with a screen or a window, we'll just click on the same share icon to stop sharing. With PowerPoint Live, we'll just click on what says stop presenting. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and do that. We'll confirm, and now we're not sharing anything again. All right, and that's it. That's pretty much how you share a screen. If you have any questions, let me know.